everyone, I'm Mrs Dodsworth and I teach psychology here at United College Sixth Form. I'm going to tell you all about the wonderful world of psychology. Psychology is a scientific study of the human mind and behaviour. It encompasses the biological influences, social pressures and environmental factors that affect how people think, act and feel. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten a sceptical look, followed by, so, are you trying to read my mind right now? After telling people I studied psychology. Yeah, because psychology actually teaches people how to read everyone's mind, and it hasn't been announced to the public because it's a secret that only psychology students know. They're sworn to secrecy. Psychology isn't about reading people's minds or trying to control others per se. There's no voodoo magic behind the science and psychology teachers aren't out to manipulate their students or get them to do what they want. Or are they? The goals of psychology are to observe, describe, explain, predict and control behaviour. Control? Yeah, you heard me right. But it's not control in the way that you are imagining, I promise. In the AQA course, we cover a diverse range of topics in which these principles are important. In Social Influence, we will touch upon both historical and contemporary events to learn what makes us go along with the crowd and consider the conditions in which we put our morals aside in order to obey the orders of a destructive authority. What makes people resist conformity and obedience and how do people in the minority bring about social change? In the topic of memory, we'll learn about the mechanisms by which information passes from working memory to long memory, and thereby learn to hack your own memory for the purposes of revision. You will learn about the tragic cases of lives obliterated by severe amnesia. In the, and in the context of criminal investigations, you will learn about the factors which lead people to be reliable and not so reliable as eyewitnesses. In attachment, you will discover the factors that determine the quality of the bond between babies and their caregivers and long term effects, which arise when the individual lacks an early attachment. To this effect, you will learn about case studies of so-called feral children and the fate of the children that were brought up in the UK in the 90s from the appalling conditions in the Romanian orphanages. In psychopathology, you will ponder whether there is such a thing as normal. And how and why do we recognise some behaviours as abnormal in some cultures, whereas in others they are considered normal? And how can we apply psychological theories to explain and treat abnormal behaviours such as phobias, depression and OCD? An integral part of psychology in research methods, you will learn all about how psychologists go about conducting their research. You'll also take part in some research yourself. In biopsychology, you will learn about the origin of behaviour from the level of neurons. You will also find out what keeps your body clock ticking and you will study brain damaged patients in a way that will allow you to gain insight into your own brain functions. There are lots of different perspectives on trying to explain human behaviour. We will study the biological reasons for human behaviour. We will look at our unconscious thoughts and feelings and how they affect our behaviour. We will look at how our environment has influenced our behaviour and how our irrational thoughts change the way we think about the world. Ever wondered what makes someone attractive to the opposite sex? In relationships, we will look at the factors affecting attraction. We will look at the theories of relationship formation and the theories of relationship breakdown. We will also look at the new concept of virtual relationships and online dating along with parasocial relationships, where perhaps people form relationships that don't actually exist. In schizophrenia, you will get an understanding of what it's like to be totally detached from reality and learn how psychological theories have been applied to explain the symptoms of schizophrenia and revolution from institutionalisation to care in the community. In aggression, you will question whether a murderous brain exists or whether the so-called get out of jail free gene should be used as a defence for violent behaviour. You will look at the biological and etiological explanations of aggression, why aggression occurs in institutions and the social psychological explanations of behaviour. Lastly, in the issues and debates topic, 
you will contemplate whether we are a product of our genes or environment, whether there is any such thing as free will, and if not, is it fair to hold anyone responsible for their actions, and whether any psychological experiment can be done if the end doesn't justify the means. What careers are there in psychology? You can become an educational psychologist, a health psychologist, a neuropsychologist, a clinical psychologist, forensics, sport and exercise, psychotherapist, a clinical psychologist, academic and research. There are many, many careers in psychology. So, how could psychology help you? It could help you understand yourself, complement your other A-level subjects, develop your grasp of science and research methods, analyse and interpret data, develop and communicate lines of argument, develop your critical thinking skills and improve your employability, gain an insight into mental illness and understand the behaviour of people around you. So, if you'd really like to understand how to read people's minds, come and do psychology.